Oh yeah, you too. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is another great day in the great state of Texas. Today, we are not fishing. We are not hunting. If y'all love those crawfish videos, we're going to do some crawfish for you today. And we got what we call around here some gunja crawfish. I'm talking about the big boys. Some people like the medium to large, which is great. I heard they take spice better and all that. But you know what? Every once in a while, I want some big crawfish. So that's what we're going to do today. We got the family here today and look, I'm going to introduce you to them and we're going to get it going and show y'all some great things today. Y'all know y'all got cooking with Lacey. There she is. Y'all got KC there. Y'all got Krista. Uh-oh. I got the I got the daughter in love in here today, baby. And guess what? She rocking rough and tough too with that Afro puff. All right. And I got I got Mandel Jr. Y'all know aka Grizz. And look, the college boy, the running back at home, Jug, all right? And the one person y'all haven't, the one family member y'all haven't met yet is who we call Sandy. Oh. Look at Sandy. Come here, look this way. There she go. Well, listen, y'all, let, let me show y'all something. I got to show y'all something. Y'all see it? Got some great big old mud bugs today. Them old gunjas. Today, I'm not gonna be cooking the crawfish, but Mando Jr. AKA Grizz, he's the crawfish master. Grizz, what you doing there, man? You're purging these crawfish, man. Give okay. them a good, a good rinse off. All right. I like to do it with the shower, just because I think that the extra pressure stressing the crawfish out a little bit. Okay, so the shower on the, on the, on the head of the, the water hole, yes, gotcha. sir. Yes, so sir. you don't want that thing on full or blast or jet, yeah. nothing like that. So we can, we can give them a good, good shower. Hit them with a little shower, yeah. Gotcha. Man, I tell you what, those crawfish in there are moving around, and I'm talking about big old falls and big old tails. It, it's it's gonna be a feast today. I, I, I really don't even know how you gonna eat all everything else that accompanied. I mean, look at that crawfish there, man. That's just that is redonkulous. <laughs> How long are you gonna do this? I like to do it at least three or four times. Okay. Get my water in here full. I like my water nice and clear when I'm finished. Gotcha. Okay. You gotta rinse all that, all that mud off of there. They truly are mud bugs. All right. So look, let me ask you this. So uh, I heard some people talk about put salt in your water and all that. So do you do anything besides water? I do water. Okay. Why? I do, water. do you do you have a reason why? No. Okay. I know. I just, I just feel like the salt, you gonna rinse it all off anyway. Right, and I, I, I think that you know, like you know, I, even when you deer hunt and rabbit hunt and all that, we do. A lot of times, a lot of people don't understand when you put salt on meat, it firms it up, mm -hmm. and it makes it shit. So we don't want it tough, right? No. Tell you what, it ain't a bad batch. No, it's not a bad batch at all. Even in water. Yeah. My water not super dirty, y'all. Nope. Already, this is the first rinse, right? This is the first rinse. First shower. So yeah, we're talking about 32 pounds of premium grade A crawfish. Select. Selects. And I'm talking about the water is already clear. Water clear, man. Amazing. 32 pounds of straight up goodness. Yes. That's our girl Sandy. And currently, Sandy is with puppies. This is the next step of the process. We are now going to light our fire for our crawfish cooker. Right now, we got pure water. Nothing but water in here. So, um, we're going to show you what we're going to put in here shortly. All right, we got our Cajun land complete bowl. No MSG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got some Louisiana crawfish bowl. We also got the special Featherston all season seafood. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Then we got some citrus punch just to give us an extra pop. Okay. Then we got our concentrated seafood bowl. And this right here, this that this that real special stuff. This is some old leftover seafood stock we had. And we're gonna throw that off in there too to give it that pizzazz. Yeah, yeah. So 
I, I see what you got here. You got, look like you got three dry ingredients and three wet ingredients, right? Yes. Nice old rolling boil. We add some of our sausage links to it. it won't take long for those. All right, Greer, after the sausage link, what's your next step? Man, after the sausage links, man, we put the crawfish in there, man. We're going them for a while, and now we got a sausage in there that's all ready. And then we're gonna throw our broccoli in there right before we throw our crawfish in there, so they still stay nice and crispy and still get that good seasoning on them. This broccoli fresh out the garden too, right? Yes, sir. Fresh broccoli, right out the garden. No weeds, no insecticide. Go, y'all. Y'all see what's going on. Time to add the crawfish to the mix. And I mean, I tell y'all what, those are crawfish. Anybody will tell you, those are some nice crawfish. We're gonna see if we can't turn these jokers on. Feels like you just got, like you got the right amount of water and everything. I think you did this one or two, one or two times. Before. I might done a couple times, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Looking good, man. They looking mighty good, man. Yes, sir. That big old sausage sitting there on yes, top, sir. too. I'm talking about they some good looking crawfish, man. Potatoes, in potatoes there, man. ready, too. Oh, you snuck them in there, man. I ain't even see you put the potatoes in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You a little sneaky with it. I got you. I got you. But they're oh, looking yeah. good. So, what's the process now? Oh, yeah. Are you they done? Them off. They, 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 they done. All right. At this point, you can eat them. Okay. They done. All right. See, but. Around here, we like to do something we call a soap. Okay. And see, that's gonna stop the cooking process. Gotcha. We can dump some ice on here. You can put ice on this hot? On this hot food. Wow. On this hot crawfish. Uh huh. I'm gonna dump some ice on there. Mm hmm. That's gonna stop the cooking process. Okay. But it's gonna allow them to soak in all that good flavor that we got in the water. Here go the ice. And we're gonna just dump it over there. Like so, like that. Okay. And that's not gonna make it too cold to eat. Oh no, not at all. Whole bunch of hot water in there. Okay. As you, just, as, you can, as you see right now, it's starting to happen. Some of these crawfish can start. These crawfish can start sinking down. Okay. That means they're absorbing in the water. They're getting cool. Mm -hmm. And they're absorbing in the water. Gotcha. They're absorbing that. See? Mm -hmm. Look at that. I you see. See how they all on top at first. Oh yeah. 
starting to go down a little bit. It's getting cool. Mm-hmm. Getting cool. And what I do like, like this, I let it sit just like this, wide open. Wide open for about 10 minutes. Okay. And let it get all the good juice in there. So the longer you let it sit, then what happens? The longer you let it sit, the more seasoning get in. And depend on what kind of seasoning you got in there to get spicy. We don't, we don't like it. Real hot and spicy that you can't enjoy, right? Yeah, we like to get them good old flavors. We like to taste our food, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's a good looking batch. I can't wait till we get it on the table. Y'all, the last time we did a crawfish boil, you know, I had some comments about our table and the way we set it up. So, um, we have changed it up a little bit. So, I just want to show you what we got going on, y'all. All right, so now this is a table that I purchased from Academy. And... You know, I'm going to give them their props because it came from them. I didn't create it, but they thought of a lot of stuff. So, of course, you got your, your cup. You got your cup holders. Uh, what's really neat, you can actually put food right here if you want to in this tray. But this is for three people. It has a ring that you can actually put your trash bag in. And we have a trash can un under it. Um, so, you also have your cup holders here. These actually come with it. They go up under these trays. Um, but these are your your paper towel holders. All right, then you come here got more cup holders So each person have two cup holders and there you go with that trash can again So what's neat about this you don't just have an open a gaping hole in the <clears throat> in the table All you do is slide your crawfish Shells in either side. So one two three four five six Perfectly with no problem. You got your cup actually what we're gonna come back with I'm gonna show you here shortly We got our butter dishes our butter dishes actually fit right in these holes as well. So, you know, we, we this can do it. This this table is sanitized and clean. Um, you don't need the paper. We used to use the paper all the time, but now we don't need that crab paper and all that. We can just wash the table, dry it, put it back up, ready for the next time. No paper needed. And guess what? We get it on. Y'all see it in a second. Oh yeah, man, it's about that time. Oh yeah, she's looking real good. Ooh -wee. Yeah. All right, we're gonna just get in this bucket of this cooler, rather. And uh, that's gonna keep them warm. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it like this right here. Oh man, look at the goodness there. Look at the goodness, look in there. Right, everything. Yeah. Like it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, thirty-two pounds of straight pure goodness. And how many? How many uh, dead crawfish did you One. have in the back? One. Out of 32 pounds. Mm. Even got a little escargot. escargot up in there. I ain't gonna eat it though. No. <laughs> you know they come from the wild. You keep him. <laughs> At this table again, one more time, y'all, just so y'all can see. We got the butter in place. We don't have to worry about no cold butter. We're gonna keep our butter warm, y'all. We're we gonna do it the right way. All right, we don't need no extra seasoning. Y'all know y'all heard me talk about J.O. before. I'll tell you what, after Grizz finished seasoning, you don't need no more seasoning, y'all. All you gotta do is eat and be merry. Hope y'all see this shirt, I really mean it. I'm ready for all of them to come at me that you can send at me. Come at me, bro, all right? <laughs> hey, guess what? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall, I shall not, not want. Getting them scoop of crawfish on there. Y'all see it, Steam. I'm waiting for them to come on my end of the table. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at, look at there, look at there. <laughs> the country folks say, look at y'all. Mm -hmm. That, my friend, is a nice batch of crawfish. All right, y'all, we're going we gonna to see if we can't get some eating on. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope we shared enough information for y'all to be able to cook your own. Look, feathers and family outdoors. Y'all take care of yours.